Hey guys, so today I just wanted to give you a review for a book that I have recently read and completely loved, and that is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. And I didn't think I would ever get the title of this book down, but I actually have now that I've fallen in love with it. This book I read after watching the Netflix movie, which I fell in love with. I talked about it in my last reading vlog and I just had to pick the book up after it of course because I absolutely loved the story and I have to say there were so many differences in the book and the movie that you really need to read the book and watch the movie and enjoy them separately for what they are because I found them to be almost like two completely different stories. They were stories that had maybe a similar storyline but then everything off of it was different and in a good way. Like I really loved the changes that the movie made. I really loved how after I watched the Movie and then reading this book. Reading the book still felt like a new experience for me because the book was so different. So before I get too much more into that, I do want to give a quick little synopsis if you haven't heard anything yet about this book. So this is about a young author named Juliet who has recently come off some fame for her book Izzy Biggerstaff Goes to War and this was actually a series of publications that came out during World War II in the papers and it was more of a humorous and lighthearted article on the war that really helped people to laugh and find humor in these really dark times and it became published as a book after the war. So this starts in 1946 and she's coming off of this fame, she's been doing some tours and she's looking for her next thing to write about. And the perfect opportunity comes to her when a man from an island called Guernsey writes her a letter and says that he actually had one of her books during the war and he explains how that book had come to mean so much to him and how reading meant so much to him and so they start a correspondence and he eventually tells her about their literary club called the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society and he tells her about how that was all started up during the war and the occupation when the German soldiers came to occupy their small island and just how that literary club and how the friendships that developed within that club really all brought them together and how it helped them get through the really hard times. The correspondence doesn't end there though because soon the other members of the society are also writing letters to Julie yet and they're telling her their experiences during the war and how the club has helped them and this is just such a heartwarming story. I think the characters were definitely what made this. If you need a character driven story this would definitely fit the bill for you. Also something I find very important to mention because I kind of thought this was how it was but I didn't know for sure. This book is entirely written in letters so it's just all letters back and forth with different characters. Two different characters. I give this book four and a half out of five stars and the only reason I think that I docked it the half a star was just because of the format. It wasn't entirely to my taste. I think I would have given it a full five stars if it had been written out more like a novel but that's just obviously personal preference. It didn't detract I think from the story but just for my personal enjoyment I would have enjoyed it more if it was not in the whole letter format. Like I do like letters in a book but just the whole book maybe not being written like that but that's just a personal preference. So in addition to loving the characters I also absolutely love the setting of Guernsey. This is such a beautiful island and I truly want to go visit but it was so sad to read what happened during the war and how the Germans kind of destroyed their beautiful island. They decimated all of the trees, they set up these horrible camps all around and it just sounded horrible what they did but it sounds like the island is still a beautiful breathtaking place and I really want to go there now. Also a note on the German occupation, yes this book shows some really hard and horrible things that happened because of the occupation but I really appreciated how this book wasn't solely about the horrible things. It did show some of the Germans had a good side and it showed their goodness as well and I think in a lot of times when we're reading historical fictions obviously the German soldiers are the enemies in the story and there's no good at all in them. They sometimes are meant out to be as pure evil but you can really see in the story how that wasn't the case. In this small island community, the Germans sometimes really tried to look out for the people of this community and it really shows they're almost in a struggle with what they had to do versus what they wanted to do. So I really, really appreciated that. I thought it was important to share that. and. Obviously bad things still happened of course, but I just really liked that perspective as well. This book really is a great book for people who just love books because it shows how reading meant so much to the people on this island and how reading in books brought 
all the characters together, characters together during the war, and then even afterwards with Juliet as an author and her love for books and bringing that to the members of the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, and just how reading and books and sharing thoughts about it all really can be so uplifting and so uniting a thing. And I just really, really loved that. I think everyone who loves books loves seeing the positive impact that reading and sharing that love can have on people. And this book definitely was not shy in that. Also just to read about how accepting the characters in the society were of an outsider, Juliet, was so remarkable and heartwarming because these people had been through so much and yet they still weren't closed off to friendships and relationships. And I really liked how it kind of goes back to how this club kind of did that for them and how they could accept someone like Juliet. And honestly, it was like a family we're reading about. It wasn't just friends. There really was a whole family aspect to it. And I think it being set on a small island such as Gersney, it really added to that atmosphere as well as it just being a really small close-knit family. Family, and it was just the most heartwarming thing. So about the movie, I already mentioned in the beginning that I did really enjoy the movie too, but like I said, they are so different from each other, at least I found personally, but I really, really loved that about it. So definitely watch the movie if you have only read the book because you will definitely get a different experience out of watching the movie. And if you watched the movie and thought, I don't need to read the book because I've already watched the movie, no, you need to go and read the book now because like I said, there different experiences but they're both equally wonderful and I had some people comment when I was talking about reading this on Instagram and I think it's so true that this book really goes more into detail with the characters because it is letter format like I said earlier and the members of the society start writing letters to Juliet so you really get to see these individual characters more so than in the movie so if you're a character driven person and you really need some good character moments the book may be more for you but I honestly loved both I don't think I could say I loved one more than the other, so I'm a huge fan. This ends my gush for the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Watch it, read it, do all the things, and then tell me how much you loved it too because I just want to gush about it all day long. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading.